Hello and welcome. This is uh, Bhaskar Napte from Pharma Growth Hub and today's topic of discussion is what is mean by validation, revalidation, co-validation and cross-validation. Now this is very important interview question. In case if you are attending an interview for method validation uh, or for the quality control department at various levels maybe for junior level or the senior level but this question is still very important for you let us now understand you know what is the meaning of each and every term so that you will not stuck when you get this question during the interview let us talk about what is mean by validation so this is the definition of validation and i am quoting the ich guideline q2r2 which is draft version this guideline has given the definition of all these terms. You can refer it after watching this video. The validation is nothing but a demonstration that the analytical procedure is suitable for its intended purpose. Our analytical procedure is suitable for its intended purpose. What is the intended purpose of your method? It can be let us say dissolution test procedure. So your method must meet the purpose defined by the meaning of dissolution and there can be certain parameters to validate the test procedure and you need to perform those parameters with the predefined acceptance criteria and understand whether all parameters are within the acceptance criteria once those all parameters are meeting the acceptance criteria you can conclude that yes my method is meeting the suitability of the intended purpose my test procedure is suitable for its intended purpose the purpose behind its its development or validation the second important term when it comes to a validation area that is called as the revalidation now the term itself can indicate what is the meaning of this word but let us understand the definition given in the ich validation guideline that is q2r2 which is in the draft version the revalidation is nothing but a demonstration that the analytical procedure is still fit for its intended purpose after a change to the product process or the analytical procedure itself so you have validated the test procedure sometime before and during the life cycle of the analytical procedure or the product, there may be a possibility of a change. In case if the process of the product got changed, now you need to understand what is the impact of this process change onto your analytical methods performance. Do we need to confirm one more time or do we need to understand whether the old method still meets the intended purpose? And you may have to conduct the risk assessment and according to the risk assessment there may be a possibility of full revalidation or there may be a possibility of the partial revalidation i will quote an example over here in case of uh, let us say full validation or full revalidation in case if there is a addition of new impurity into a specification and this impurity was not earlier part of your validation document and during this time now you have to completely revalidate your test procedure one more time. The change in specification can bring the complete revalidation. The change in the composition of the product, let us say you have a formulation uh, of a tablet, drug product and if the composition of the drug product got completely changed some of the old excipients got replaced by new excipients which are functional in the category during this time you have to conduct full revalidation so these are the few examples where the full revalidation is applicable now when the partial revalidation can be performed now the partial revalidation can be performed let us say in case if you are deleting few of the excipient from the drug product which are not functional in the nature 
you may perform few of the validation parameters like uh, what is the impact of those excipient maybe by proving the specificity or the method precision in case if you are changing the injection volume in case of hplc test procedure so what is the impact of the change in the injection volume if you increase the injection volume your response can get increased and this increased response can probably hamper effect on to your linearity of the test procedure or the range of the test procedure your detector's response may get saturated because of the increase in the injection volume so you need to understand what is the method's range now so whether your method is linear or not so this becomes your parameter of the study that yes with the increase injection volume still i am able to achieve my method's range so you can only validate the method for the range parameter only and there may be no need to validate another parameters so according to the change you can decide whether full revalidation is required or partial revalidation is required the third point or the parameter is the co-validation so how to define co-validation the co-validation is nothing but a demonstration that the analytical procedure meets its predefined performance criteria when used at different laboratories for the same intended purpose for example during the method transfer so co-validation is what proving that this method is performing at multiple locations without any issue so if you validate method in your lab and if the third party want to analyze your product into their lab they can co-validate it and the co-validation can be a partial or can be of all parameters and the example quoted here is the method transfer so you may want to perform all the parameters or the third party can only perform the few of the critical parameters like let us say in case of uh, related substances the third party can check LOD LOQ recoveries the specificity and the precision parameters now this kind of study is called as the co-validation you are doing the validation into your lab and another lab is also doing the validation into their laboratories that is the co-validation and the last but not the least that is the cross-validation so what is the definition of cross-validation and here is the definition onto your screen the cross-validation is nothing but a demonstration that two or more analytical procedures meet the same predefined performance criteria and can therefore be used for the same intended purpose so for example you have a two methods for assay of your drug substance one is by potentiometry and second one is by hplc so you are going to prove how these two methods are similar by performing the similar kind of uh, uh, parameters and if all of these two methods meet these parameters then you can say that any one method is suitable or both of them are suitable to conduct assay of particular API that is called as the cross validation understanding that yes both the methods are meeting the predefined acceptance criteria and they found to be suitable for their intended purpose that is the cross validation I hope you must have now got an overview of what is meant by validation, revalidation, co-validation and cross-validation. Thank you so much for watching this video.